Let's go get them. You can't fix this. There is no taking care of it. But I'm going to be the one to end it. Was this not the scene that encapsulized the entire series known as Power? These three adversaries now coming together, and it's going to be good. Can't wait for next season. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, Mr. Damn All Everything, your sex is hell host. I'm in here with my big brother. We reviewing power. We talking power. Man, what a hell of a season it was. I got my big brother up here who predicted everything. If you didn't see our power review, go back and watch it from episode two when this man predicted everything that happened. Mark, what are your reflections of power this season? Oh man, it was it was it wasn't predictable. I, I will say that. I mean, it was some things that I kind of saw, you know, like Dre being disloyal. Uh, you know, one one thing that I've learned in my personal life that you know, once you once somebody's disloyal to to one person, they just loyal to everybody. Only person they care about is themselves. Word. And Dre, as we saw, only thinks about himself. See, because you know, that was part of the story. We was trying to figure out, is he loyal to Ghost? Is he loyal to Kanan? We couldn't figure out, you know, wh where was his loyalties? Eventually, you know, we knew he was loyal to his daughter. So I always kind of felt like he was going to be loyal to Kanan because Kanan was threatening to kill his daughter. But in the end, that brother showed he only loyal to himself. That's right. Yeah, and um, I, I didn't see that Tasha thing coming. I mean, I knew her, her and Ghost were, you know, were still on the outs as far as that whole situation was concerned, but I didn't expect her to 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 to, to go out like that. You know, of course, you know people like, well, why are you mad at Tasha? Because I was mad at Tasha about it, and and I, and my thing is this: Tasha, you messing with the help. You know, you mess with mm -hmm. you, know, you show Sean, you know, some some coochie on the on the on the on the uh in the in the, in the car season one. You know, now you having sex with the lawyer. Like, come on, Tasha, like. You know, the first thing, well, Ghost cheated. He cheated with Angela. Like, but Tasha kind of cheated first. You know, yes, she didn't have sex with Sean when she showed him the, you know, showed him some love in the in the Escalade, but it's still, that's still a form of cheating. Emotional she cheating. cheating. Emotional cheating. Yeah, you know, cheating is cheating no matter which way you look at it. Right. So, so now, um, now with Tasha in the situation with the lawyer, it's a quagmire because she just basically broke up with him. In essence, what she did at the end of this show by saying, I want you my lawyer, not my lover. And you know he going to feel some kind of way because obviously Tasha put the damn hell draws on him because homeboy walked in there and said, baby, I love you. So she put that, <laughs> she, Tasha put that one-two hood step on his ass and he talking about he in love. Now she breaking up with him. He liable to try to get some vengeance on that. You never know how this brother going to turn on her. So that's another storyline for next season. What do you think is going to happen with that? Um, as far as next season, or as yep. far as as Tasha far as, the, as far as the future next season, and Tasha and the lawyer, because she's gonna have to come clean about everything with him. He's already in, emotionally involved, and as a business owner, you know you don't mix business with pleasure. It never works out well. It never yeah. works out well. So, do you think he? You, like, you think he gonna rat on her? Or you think he might do something stupid? I think what I think is Tasha is. Although, you know, I, I just kind of bashed it a little bit. I think Tasha is probably one of the smartest characters on the show. And I say that because if she goes down, she's taking everybody with her. Right, right. She's going to in the place of glory. Because she went to Angela and asked Angela for help. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing. Nobody, nobody, well, not say nobody remembers, but she went there to ask for help. Angela, so she's she's probably seen in that office. That's the first thing. The second thing is her and that lawyer. Although she is sleeping with the lawyer, I think she's going to kind of twist that somehow to feed him to to doing what she wants him doing what she wants him to do. Okay. Um, okay. Tasha, Tasha is smart. Right. So I would I wouldn't be surprised to see Tasha. In a bigger role, 
as well as you know doing something doing something crazy. So uh, yeah. So do you so do you think Ghost and Angela are gonna hook back up? I think it's inevitable. You know, Angela's already starting to show that she's breaking back down for the brother. You know, it only takes one major family event like what happened with Raina to bring somebody back that you done done wrong. But first of all, let's talk about Raina because my heart bled a tear. Why the hell they had to kill her? Why they couldn't kill the other girl? They should have killed the little one that we never see. Why they didn't get rid of her? Why they had to get rid of Raina? Because, because Raina is not a... Uh... Not Raina. The little girl's not a main character of the show. But we still would have so, been sad if they killed a little girl, regardless. Not as much as Raina. You'd have been sad if the little girl was gone, but you'd have been like, all right, well, you know, we don't see it no way. So Raina kind of, you know, she's a... They had, somebody had to get rid of the show because it was it's too many people on the show. Word. It was at one point. You know, it's too many. You, uh, you, know, you got so many different storylines. You got Dre. You got, you know, Lala. Then you got... Tommy, then you got Tasha, then Goat got his own storyline, then Angela, and Sax, and, yeah. and, 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 the, and the Chinese guy. You know, you got so much stuff going on. It, she she was a casual. You know, I, yeah, I'm, I'm upset that she's gone because, especially the way that she went, and I think Tariq was a punk, but he kind of <laughs> made up for it in the end. Yeah. So, if, you know, if he shot her, you know what my conspiracy theory is? My conspiracy theory is that Angela was in that room and she shot him, not Tariq, because Angela had already figured out where, where it was going down there when she tracked that phone for Tasha. And do you know that they never let us see what actually happened in that room, which is creative space to come up with something else creative that had happened in that room. So my conspiracy is maybe Angela shot him or maybe Kanan shot him. You know, and Tariq ain't gonna say nothing. Tariq has already proven he ain't scared to lie. And he'll hold the truth right, from his right. family. So we don't really know what happened. We know they found a bullet, but we don't know where that bullet came from. Right. Cause cause you heard two shots. Right, right. It was like one bang, there was two bangs. Remember Tommy went in the room and he picked up the heat when he was when they got in the room, Tommy picked up two shells. Two of the shells. Right. right. Like, where did that other bullet come from in the, in, in the wall? So exactly. Exactly. And then the other thing, did you see where Angela was presenting a new case, right? And they found all these guns, right. and they found that golden gun. And a lot of people forgot that golden gun is the golden gun of the Jimenez leader, boss dude. The one right. the one that's working with Tariq. So where do you think they're going to go with that part of the story? As far as the, the Jimenez family? Right. I think I honestly think here's, here's what my what my uh, my honest thoughts are for next season. Dre is somehow some way is going to slither his way to not be killed. I think what's going to happen is, is I think he's going to set up the Jimenez family somehow some way to get to get back in Ghost and Tommy's good graces. Although I still, I still, Tommy's going to kill him because of Julio. And right. Tommy's still a little, still a little bummed out about Julio. So I think Dre's going to last, but I think he somehow, some way, is going to, he's going to set up him and his family, and then Ghost and Tommy somehow become the, the big time uh, distros. So well, we'll see. Let us not forget, probably the picture that encapsulized the entire series was when you seen in the car Ghost. Tommy and Kanan, the hood buddies from back in the day in the car with one common adversary, and that is your boy and the Jimenez, and you're going to have these three characters back together. This encapsulizes the entire, every season of Power was about these three characters, and now they're on the same side. How do you feel that right. dynamic, that relationship is going to work out with those three? I'm hoping, I'm hoping that, you know, they don't turn on each other. I'm hoping that you know, they kind of, because I like Kanan. Um, you know, I even like when he was, you know, messing with Tar Tariq and all that stuff. I'm hoping that they stick together. You know, maybe, you know, uh, goes, goes back to, you know, doing his real estate thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, 
and Tommy and Kanan run the business. But we'll see. I mean, because Kanan, he's a wild card. So you don't wow. know which way he's going. And the last piece, man, then I'm going to get you out of here. How crooked is Lorenz Tate's character as a councilman? They, they, they ain't told us. But you know he's got some ties in that community with drugs somehow, some way. And when he rolled up on Ghost wanting to do the funeral at that church with that crooked-ass pastor, that showed me homeboy still got some streets in him. What do you think is going to happen with that relationship? I think eventually, somehow, some way, Ghost is going to get out of it. But not without a price. Now, hmm. what's, what, what, what the problem is, not problem, but Simon Stern told Ghost not to trust that dude. He Remember did. That? When they, before they, when we first introduced him, he said, he said, don't trust him. Which makes you think and he you know, know which makes you think that he know he's got some kind of drug ties or some kind of secret ties or something going on. Yep. So. Exactly. So, yeah, that, that was that was a good one. I, I'm, I'm anxious to see, you know, what, what happens with Tar Tariq after, you know, after that whole ordeal with, with Raina and him shooting Ray Ray. You know, I'm anxious to see. I'm anxious to see, you know, if, if something happens to the girlfriend. You know, because the girlfriend, she didn't set him up, but, you know, she's still, you know, he still might hold her liable for that. Right. You know? But, I, I mean, at the same time, that was his first piece of panty draws, too, bro. <laughs> you know, we, we know how that goes. You, you know that how that goes. So, hey, it knows wide open. <laughs> wide open, man. You can fit a trailer in that daggone nose of his. Shoot, man. So, <laughs> all in all, would you say this was the best season of Power? Say, uh, the, nah, yeah, it, I wouldn't say the best season, but it's up there. I like it would be one like I like the first season, right? Uh, I mean, I like the first season because it kind of introduced everybody and kind of you know, yeah. That, that I like how Ghost is when he's you know still in that life, still trying to be the businessman. You know, I, I kind of understand that, so. I mean, what what brother out the hood don't understand, you know, somebody doing what Ghost did because American capitalism is hard as hell. And if you ain't got no financial backers, you ain't got good credit, you damn if you're going right. to try to work at McDonald's nine to five to make $60 a day when you can hustle on the street, stack your money and try to run a business. So, I mean, most people out the hood can relate to Ghost, you know what I mean? But here's one more thing that we almost forgot to mention. That girl that heard Ghost's voice them popped up. Oh, man. Now they're gonna have to deal with that. You know they probably gonna get Angela involved to take that case, and Angela ain't gonna want to do it. But in the end, that girl is probably gonna be the person that's gonna die next season. You know she's gotta die. Gotta go. She's gotta, gotta go. go. She gotta go. Hold up. Now she gotta go, and sex gotta go. Because she gotta yeah. Sex is yeah. doing everything. Now don't forget. Also, don't forget that they just reactivated that uh, device on Tommy's car. Right, right, right. So now they basically tracking his butt everywhere he go. And I'm going to tell you another person that's going to come back to haunt somebody. Um, Ghost original lawyer. You notice how they didn't say nothing about him the last two episodes other than he had that meeting with uh, Angela. Right. And he still got that that's damn that computer somewhere. Yep. Somehow or another, he going to get sucked into it. But brother, all I can say is Thank God football is coming back on because it'd be a sad day on TV without power and Game of Thrones going off. But this was the most intriguing season. I won't say it was the best, but I'll say it was the most intriguing season. This season, they really, really took a bunch of great narratives together and spun them into a whole lot of stories with a lot of questions for next season. And one thing, and one thing I did like about it, they kind of... Yo, know, when Ghost going to Ghost going to jail, they kind of open up everybody else's character, like Keisha. You know, that they, they kind of took that, you know, that with her and Tommy. Um, you know, Tommy's Tommy's dad. You know, they kind of open that door up to other characters. You, know, you see Keisha, and you just think she just this this hood rat chick that no Tasha. Right. They kind of open her character. Up, you know. Yeah, they made her vulnerable. She fell in love with Tommy. Tommy put that right. white D on her.
and she fell in love. She, she didn't know what to do. Right. So, uh, well, exactly, man. So, I can't wait the next season. You guys let us know with comments below this video what was your favorite part of Power this season? Was this your favorite Power? And you can follow us in the future for more Power reviews. I'm going to be doing Power something throughout this whole long ass wait we got till it come back on. And we're going to keep you posted. Any any parting words, my brother Mark? Hey man, just keep on, you know, keep on uh, supporting Lamont's channel. Doing a lot of great stuff with, with the reviews and, and, and the Cody reviews. Just keep supporting, keep supporting black businesses. Exactly. That's all I got. That's what it is, fellas and ladies and gentlemen. And that's going to do it for this power review video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself that life gain. Check my video description box below the video. Check out my man, Mark. He's got some things coming up that I'm going to be doing reviews on. Support that brother. He's out here trying to get it. He's trying to get it the James St. Patrick way, not the ghost way. And until the next Sex is Hell video, we'll see you.